freaking love my hair, y'all. Seriously, even go and get some more taken off tomorrow. It's so whimsical. It's so me. All right, so I gave y'all enough time. It sat there and said, this chick is going live in so many minutes. So we're going to jump in and y'all jump on whenever you're ready. It's hot. And that's supposed to be. So um, we are going to be using Cordelia. Hello. Hi. Um, who normally is not camera shy at all uh, when she's doing musically. Stop, Cordelia. I can't see. Um, but like many of us, now I really can't see. Don't do that. Um, like many of us, it has um, some issues with some dry skin on her elbows mine is my feet like i have to keep my feet covered and taken care of in the winter cordelia's is her elbows so let's let me see i thought i had a thing of bamboo right now that hurts. Like yes i don't so i'm gonna use this sample packet that'll work perfect okay so let's show the people what your elbow looks like up close put your elbow up all right look we don't even have to get so close put your elbow up that is some serious dry skin all right so what we are going to do what is this guy doing we ain't got no dang tape over here we're the makeup people, not the tape people. All right, so we have this bowl, and it doesn't have any soap or anything in it. No soap. Oh, if I drop my phone in there, I'm going to die. No soap. Your phone Just, can last in it. That's what they say, but I'm not trying to check that shit out. Okay, so I just want you to rest your elbow in here. Here, put this over you, because you know you messy. You know you messy. All right, there we go. Now, I just want you to soak your arm in there for just a little bit, and I'm going to talk about what we're going to be doing. All right, so she's going to have her elbow in there. So we want to have really, really warm water because we want to get that skin pissed off. It feels hot. And hey, Andrea, or Andy. Um... We want to, whenever you have really, really dry skin, you want to get that skin agitated with water. Um, there's, Like I said, there's no soap in there. And then tonight we're going to be using, the first thing I'm going to use on her is our Bamboo Renew, which is actual bamboo. I know, right? Like, I'm just in love with my hair, by the way. I'm going to cut more of it off in the morning, just from the back. Uh, more of a Lisa Rinna kind of do in the back. Um, so the Bamboo Renew is meant, it's a body scrub. I sometimes use it on my face. I definitely use it on Maddie's face for anybody who has cystic acne. Um, even though it says it's not recommended for your face, I'm telling you that I have done it and it's, amazing it like rips the layers of skin like completely off and maddie's face was clearing up it was great so our is your elbow nice and wet so we're oh, gonna God. put the bamboo renew fantastic bamboo and lemongrass all right so let's dry your elbow let's dry your arm off some it kind of feels nice all right, you just need to dry it a little so it's not like dripping everywhere. All right, so keep your elbow where people can see it, please. All right. This stuff looks like mud because we have raw products. So the underneath is the worst. So because it is raw, you really have to hold on to it until you can get the water in there and just mix it all around. And it smells phenomenal. And all this is going to do is use the wood from the bamboo, or I should say the bamboo, uh, is going to 
start taking off those dead layers of skin. And we really want to... It's turning white. Yep. We want to make sure that we're really, really getting into that area that's become really dark because she doesn't like to wear lotion. She's a tomboy. Oh, I'm sorry, Andy. Well, you can definitely catch the replay. This looks really weird on camera. It's because it's bamboo. What do you want it to look like? No, like my elbow. No, it looks like it's supposed to. When you put bamboo on your skin, it's not going to look sexy. No, like the placement on my elbow. Like it doesn't look like it's my elbow. Oh, but that's where it is. I'm looking at it. And you just want to rub it uh, until you start to see, like right now, we're good. I can't feel my elbow. Anything with lemon, this chick can't feel anything. Earlier we did a lemon, uh, a mommy... Am I allergic to lemons? No. You eat them all the time. Uh, we did a mommy-daughter um, facial spa morning. Ew, look at the water. Yeah, that's all your funky skin coming off. All right. Put your arm in my towel hands. All right. I remember she had very dark elbows. She doesn't like to wear lotion. She's a tomboy. And looking better. Now, this used to be black. Now, I can see that she's got a lot more skin here. Look, it took all the green away. <laughs> it was green if you looked at it in person. And so now what I'm going to do... Because she needs a lot of moisturizer, moisturizer, is I'm going to take Still feels nice on my elbows. Our, our scrub teeny. Don't put that on me. Cordy, I use it all the time. After with, Hope used it? Huh? No, she used it with a spoon and it's going to be fine. Um, the scrub teeny is extra virgin coconut, I mean not coconut, yeah, coconut oil and lemon verbena. So, as you can tell by watching most of our videos, the uh, lemon is almost in every single thing skincare-wise that we have. Almost every single thing has lemon. And this smells and feels really, really good. Still smells like the stuff I used to polish my desk with. What? She thinks anything that smells like lemon smells like lemon polish because it does okay she's telling me to go live so i'm gonna go live no not while i'm live goofy she should already know that we are live i told her okay and the sugar from the scrub teeny starts to melt and whenever i wash her elbow it's going to feel silky smooth oh is that good as the sugar yeah because can i eat it no um <laughs> it's gonna feel silky smooth because of the oil uh, the olive oil being in there and right now we're just massaging that in there Especially in that really really bad rough patch Actually, I think I scraped it or something and it just became a really bad. Well, yeah, scar. I, I can see that it's scraped But all the other it funky just became a really bad scar and all the other funky stuff. We've been able to scrub away And then we're gonna put some lotion. So let's rinse it off This actually feels really nice it does feel really nice. Y'all, these are spa products. Like, I know three spas here in Kingwood um, that some lucky biatches got to before me. And they exclusively sell limelight there. But the scrub teeny, by the way, all the oil in there. Can you see? There we go. You can see the oil. It keeps everything moisturized. Olive oil, I use it. Olive oil and coconut oil, I use on everything. This is extra virgin coconut oil. All right, let me see your arm, please. Silky so smooth. I could like turn that into a meme. What? On like your mirror, like it zooms in. Uh, oh yeah, it has face. like so many different. Um, like, I could be, like, one of those memes where, like, somebody says something stupid in the night. All right, now show your other elbow. Put them both together in the camera, please. So, we have... Is this one as bad as the other one? This huh? one I didn't scrape. Okay. So, this one is it's still... It's still really dry. Still really dry. 
Let me get a close up of it so people can see. So this one is really dry and scaly. And Thanks, then let, Mom. And then let's show the other one. This one, where she fell down. But everything else is starting to come off. And so now what I'm going to do... Is you my other one? Is, yeah, yeah we're going to do the other one. But we're going to put some must-do... This one doesn't have lemon. <laughs> must-do is Palmarole, Palmarose and it's sunflower, sunflower oil. oil. Give me your elbow. And we're just going to treat this overnight... And this is just straight uh, essential oils. And she can smell like sunflowers all night long. I'm sleeping in your bed, so. Well, I'm used to smelling like sunflowers at night, so that's good. All right. And so, much, much better than before. Look, much, much better. You need to stop falling down. All right, put your other one in there. Let's that's actually been there for like a couple years. Yeah, put the other one in there. All right, now we're going to work on the next one. That's so weird. I feel more comfortable doing it with my right hand. It's going to be all right. Straight to my left. Like Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> the thing that I was watching is girl, she said, oh my gosh, we can go play Ding Dong Ditch. And then he walks out the door, and then when we hide in the bush and he can't see us, he goes, all right, all right, all right. This stuff is so messy, but I freaking am obsessed with bamboo right now. Even more obsessed with scrub TV. All right, dry just the bottom of it, please, of your arm, so it's not dripping on me. Okay. So, we're going to get in there. It already starts to fall. There we go. I just fell on me. Get it all in there. And y'all, there's really no sexy way to do this. When you're in the bathtub or the shower and it's just you, then it's totally fine. But if you're like trying to do this like I am right now, this bamboo just wants to go where it wants to go. We were out of the, we always sell out of the bamboo. If you're ever going to get the bamboo renew, get it now. Because, especially if you live in Texas, because, um... During spring and summers here, and pretty much every other time of the year, it's sandal season. And um, this is phenomenal on your heels. Save your $40 at the nail salon. And just take some time for yourself. Get some wine. It's all white. Yep. Uh, take, get some wine and get a little buzz going. And then it's just... Hang out in the bathtub and just ha treat yourself. Like, save your $40. Seriously. They're just putting a bunch of chemicals on you anyway. I don't have any clue what that means. It's just so long. <laughs> All right. We're going to dry this baby. So, already, bend your elbow, goofy. <laughs> Already, we got, like, a normal arm coming around. Check it out. All right, let's put some scrub teeny on there. Make sure we get the oil with the sugar. I felt a lot more comfortable doing this with my, left, my right arm because it's my dominant arm. It's going to be fine. I look like I'm trying to dab. Bam. I don't like dabbing. <laughs> I have never dabbed. I don't like dabbing. I do it when I'm driving. On a way to go see my sister, that's when she discovered what dabbing was, and then in the middle of driving, but bam, she dabbed. Man, I ain't old. You're just as old as you feel. Well, no, I don't want to go with that because I feel like I'm 75 on the inside. Cancer is a bitch. I feel Lupus. like I'm 20 something. Lupus I even took a maturity sucks. test. According to a uh, three maturity tests that I've taken, I am 27. Oh, Jesus, please. But just put your arm in there and just calm down. Just be 10. Just be 10. I don't even look 10. Just be 10. You're the baby. You have to stay a baby forever. See, that's what I hate. <laughs> that's what I hate. And I know she's going to treat me like I'm a baby. Just for the be 10. 
And I know she's gonna treat me like a baby for the rest of my life because this is the stuff that she says. Just be ten. I'm yeah, but okay. It's cool. It's cool to be ten. Look how silky. Oh my god, I love the way the scrub teeny. Your feels. hands are silky, not my elbow. No, it's your elbow. Touch your elbow with your other hand. My elbow. No, it's your elbow. It's the oil from the scrub teeny. Coconut I thought it was oil. your hand. Nope. What it girl, I was trying to dry your elbow. I didn't know if it feels right, nice. Out. It does feel nice. It's the coconut oil. It stays on there. So we don't want to rub this. We just pat it. Pat, pat, pat. We can dry all this. But here we just want to pat. And look, she has a nice clean elbow. Oh my god. Brawny. Put it. Girl, you got stuff going everywhere. Yeah. All right. Now bend and snap. Bend. I feel like Legally Blonde. I don't even think you've seen that movie. Mm -mm. I've uh -oh. seen Atomic Blonde. What? I don't even know what that is. Legally Blonde, The Bend and Snap. Oh my God, I'm showing my age here. So again, we put the must do. Her moving my skin around that dark thing, that is actually just my bone. I'm really bony. Must be nice to say I'm really bony. No, it's really not. I'm really bony. There's one time Never she mind to, that point. There's I'm just one really time bony. when she had to take me to the hospital because I was pretty much anorexic. That is so long ago. You had a stomach virus though, so it was cool. I mean, it wasn't cool. I but... threw up everything that I ate and I was anorexic. <laughs> Thanks, it wasn't cool, Mom. but. Alright, there you go. Show your elbows. I want to stick it back in the water. No, don't stick it it's back in the water. It's so warm. No, but look how pretty your elbow is now. No one ever looks at my elbows. I do. All right. You're done, ma'am. Thank you. Say bye to the people. Say bye to the people. Thank you. All right. Now you can go see what daddy's doing. Daddy is wrapping Draven's present. And it's flipping huge. It is so huge. I think I know what it is. I think you don't. All right. So, um... Yeah, my hair is falling down. I'm getting mad. I need her to take some more chunk, chunk, uh, take some more chunks and layers. Take this to the sink, please. Thank you very much, Molo, Medo. All right. So, dry skin during the winter, huge, huge problem. Um, I definitely recommend using the scrub teeny. Um, I even use it, like I said, I use Bamboo Renew on clients that have cystic acne, even though it says it's not recommended for faces. Excuse me. Um, kind of just use your judgment. If your client starts saying, oh my God, this shit's burning, like, take it off. Um, scrub Teeny, by the way, <laughs> my newest obsession. So I, whenever I started getting all of these products... I did not use them all at one time. I wasn't like, oh my God, I have to try this. Oh my God, I have to try that. I use everything in moderation. And because I, uh, Paul didn't have work for like three months after I bought this stuff, after I signed up and all that fun stuff, um, I bought like something small every week or whenever he got like a little bit of money, I would take like $20 and buy something new. So it's taken me a while to build all that is this, um, I'll flip it around so y'all can see. So, well, that's my light. Good shit, right. So, we start here, and that's Cordy's phone. So, th these are all eyeshadow palettes. This is my tricolor one. That's my foundation and uh, concealers, my Onyx palette. This has all the eyeshadows in the world in it. My bare metals. All of my holiday stuff that I printed and sent out to a lot of people. Um, that's my dream palette. So all of this stuff here. I have an obsession with the Summer Holder bracelets. If you're not familiar, familiar with the Summer Holders or you've never heard of Ian Summer Holder. Um, come out from under your rock and ask me how to get in on... And it's mine. 
on his family's uh, jewelry thing and I will send you a link and you just as long as you promise not to be crazy and ask his family for really like dumb stuff I will uh, get you in so um the beauty so clean that is a cosmetic sanitizer it's for my brushes but this is just the stuff that I keep on my desk daily, my skin therapist, my scrub tini is usually in the shower. Gotta keep my Pellegrino because I talk all day. Mirror, of course. More mirrors. Um, this is all sample stuff. So this is stuff that is all sample stuff. And so I have another Dazzle palette here. I have another Deluxe palette here and just different stuff because this is stuff that I use whenever sampling or um, doing makeup on somebody else where I use my, I have disposable uh, brushes and stuff so I'm not using like my own stuff. Um, I will use my classified brush collection um, that definitely needs to be cleaned but all of this stuff here, these bottles, all of this stuff is all sample stuff. And then we have doo -doo 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 -doo. all my liners, all my lip stuff. One, two, and three of those. Uh, they're three different colors, by the way. But little by little, I... I collected all of this. This was not, I've been doing this since June the 5th. And so it's really taken a long time. Some stuff I got lucky and was able to buy um, in a lot. Like for example, today Cordelia came in the room after checking the mail and she was like, oh my God, mom, you got like all this limelight stuff. And I was like, okay, I knew what it was. Um, a lady who has left limelight who was amazing and she's having a baby and she's not, she wants to commit her time to the baby, of course, and um, was just selling a whole bunch of her stuff. So I was able to stock up on all of this amazing stuff that was all her sample stuff for her events. And since I do a lot of one-on-ones and um, have a very eventful 2018 coming up, that was perfect and it was something I was able to do at the time so it's great and this has all been a huge huge blessing to me and my family like next month the only card that I need to carry is my limelight card because I won't need to get into my bank account at all and um, this is the first month that since June, and I've only really been working, working my business for about two months. And sorry, y'all, I'm obsessed with my hair. Um, I've changed. Um, our lifestyle is getting back to what we're used to. And I love working with other people and I love just sharing the experience. Um, this stuff sells itself, and I have cracked the code with the help of a friend. And let me take this off. Oh, no, it doesn't glare that much. It only glares on me, I think. Um, I have cracked the code on selling, and people are buying stuff all around the United States whenever I'm asleep. I wake up, and I like have to send all these emails out, these thank you emails, my link, I send samples out to people. People are asking, you know, how the hell did I get this far this fast? And, you know, it costs money to make money. And I gave myself a $3 a day budget um, and market with Google. And that's really how it, how it happens. I got tired of, like, reaching out to people and hustling for, you know, sales and stuff like that. So... Um, I invested in my kit when we had absolutely no money and my husband thought I was crazy and I probably was, but here we are months later and it is totally, totally, 
uh, paying off. Uh, whenever I start traveling in January, I won't need to bother the bank account. I've made plenty of money um, just doing Limelight. And to be honest with y'all, Google really does most of the work for me. So um, if you're ever looking for something that you care about and you know even if you just need to make extra money on the side I've never and like I said I grew up with my grandma there was nine of us who stayed in a one-bedroom apartment and it was crazy um you know either we lived with our parents or me and my cousins either we lived with our parents or our parents went away for a while or just decided you know, their mom was there, so we were getting dropped off all the time, but we never felt like we were without anything, and that's what Limelight gives me and my family. It's given us that that cushion that we need to to fall on whenever, you know, Paul's out of work, or, you know, especially during the holidays. He's a union worker. He does not get paid whenever there's holidays, or he's off, or he's sick. They don't do that. Um, so, what are you taking pictures of? Oh, that's pretty. Um, so, that's her eye. I really like my eye. <laughs> my hair. I am just too obsessed. So, anyways, when you're thinking of, when you're sitting at home or you're sitting at work and you're thinking, oh my God, I hate life. How did I get here? How do I get out of this? Um... I get choked up thinking about it. I would have never imagined my limelight card. Like, Cordy, bring me my wallet. My limelight card, whenever I start traveling, January, like, I'm going to be in Louisiana like crazy, uh, 2018. But my limelight card is all I need to carry. Where? It should be on the bar. And this house, like, everything that we've done... Every move that we've made has been strategic and getting us where we are. And it is a lot of work to stay where we are. Um, Kingwood is not um, a very cheap area to live in. But we did it for the schools. We did it for the better good of our children. So that they wouldn't like turn out to be thuggish, ruggish bone and all that jazz. And this, let me make sure I cover up my number. This card right here, this card gets me everywhere I need to go. That's it. This card. So, I don't, I don't need to use the bank account. I don't need to use other credit cards. I don't need to use any of that. I use my limelight card. My limelight card pays for my stuff. I earn points. That pays for a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff I did not pay cash for uh, out of our own pocket. So it's definitely an investment. I'm not going to say it's not. It is an investment. But when you think about your future and when you think about my story and how far I've come, like I've been with the company for just over six months, but because of hurricanes and deaths and more deaths and more deaths, um, I've really only just thrown myself into the business for a full two months. And I'm already up for my second promotion. And I'm I'm not going to say it's easy. Like, you have to send the emails. You have to follow up with people. But I can give you a fail-proof system um, through Google. And I can monitor it and show you how to monitor it. If you're not really good at reading little graphs and all that jazz, um, it can be done. I'm doing it. And I freaking love it. And every time I go see Maddie, I go pick up Maddie, even just to pick her up. Like, I'm getting too old. I can't be doing these 12-hour, you know, 24-hour drives. You know, I have to rent a room every time I go up there. And Limelight pays for it. Limelight pays for... Just about everything. It pays for my car, pays for the insurance, it pays for utilities. Um, yeah, it pays for a lot of stuff. I think this one is my favorite. And now it's going to be paying for my traveling. 
because um, I've got a lot of stuff coming up with ISF that I'm super excited about. Foundation I'm a part of. If you all don't know me with ISF or know who ISF is or know anything about those three letters put together, um, that is my passion in life. And um, I am forever indebted to ISF for saving my life and, you know, making me the best version of myself that I can be. So with that said, I hope y'all learned a little bit about dry skin tonight. And in these winter months, moisture, 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 moisture. Even if it's 70 degrees outside here in Houston, we don't have the humidity during these months that we need that normally keep us super, super oily. Um, so make sure that you're putting a lot of moisturizer on, make sure you're putting something that's not, doesn't have a lot of chemicals because the chemicals clog your pores and then your pores can't breathe and you're just a hamster in a wheel. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes the hamster in the wheel. Okay. So, um, if you want more information about how you can join my team or, you know, share in the wealth with me, you know how to reach me. And don't forget um, your last minute stocking, last minute stocking stuffers. I believe tonight at midnight is the cutoff to make sure that it gets here, gets wherever it's going by Christmas uh, with our flat rate. I think it might have been yesterday, um, where you don't have to pay anything. And from here to there, I think you got a couple more days, and then it's cut off. So. Thank you all for a wonderful, wonderful December. Um, I'm not sure how much often I'm going to be able to be on here. Um, I am picking up my daughter, uh, Maddie, on Friday. But then again, I won't see her again until Monday, until Christmas. And um, having lost my father, uh, being with family is... Uh, important to me and any time that I can spend with Maddie is uber important to me um, because she's gone all the time so um, I will check in when I can and until then I love you all have a Merry Christmas happy holiday happy whatever whatever you celebrate have a happy one Hanukkah, and, Kwanzaa, Christmas, yeah she knows them all there's like some song or something Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. We're going to go. <laughs> um, I love you all. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed uh, rest of the year. Mm -hmm.